Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be like a full coverage, heavy glam, you can say it's like a daisy wedding look type of thing. Like this is what I would wear if I was going to like a wedding where I'm going to be taking a lot of pictures and full decked out jewelry and everything. So let's get right into it. I'm just going to talk through this. Hopefully it stays under 10 minutes because I know... A lot of you complain about my videos being 20 minutes long, but I, I I have been doing very well. Like, you have to give me props on that. Props. Well, for starters, as always, I'm going to pin my hair back because I can't do my makeup if my hair is in my face. And I apologize if I'm sniffling a lot. My allergies have just been, like, crazy. I literally have had allergies all summer long. Well, for primer, as always, I'm using my Tarte Clean Slate Smoothing however long the name is clean slate timeless smoothing primer like you would think I've been using this for over two years now you would think that I would have the name down but no I feel like product names should be like one word or two words so it's easy to remember and it's not as confusing and not like so tongue twister ish so you're gonna have to excuse my eyebrows because I haven't done them and I'm not gonna do them until um probably like almost the last week of September. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the new Anastasia uh, stick foundations. I'm going to use the color Warm Natural. It's my first time using these foundations, but I've heard great things about it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And believe it or not, this is my first stick foundation ever. Put it on. I feel like this color is too light, but I can't find the darker shade that I have. So we're just going to have to make this work. Then I'm going in with my Tarte, it's like a kabuki brush type of thing. This is my new favorite brush, brush to blend out foundation. It just smooths everything out. And this is from the collection by uh, Nicole Concilio and Tarte. So, yes. Basically, like, pat and rub this all over my face. Oh, wow. This literally just looks like my skin. I still, like, my favorite all-time foundation is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, like, no foundation has beat that one for me yet. Like, I love that foundation. I just don't use it that much because I feel like you guys will get bored if I keep using the same foundation in my videos. I should bring this down to my neck since it's kind of light. The jewelry that I'm wearing is by Xaver. I've mentioned them like a bunch of times in my videos, so I'll have it linked down below. Their new set, like this set, comes with a, like a tika, it comes with earrings and it also comes with a jumer so like it's like a full type of bridal type of set that you would buy but it's so pretty guys super pretty next my concealer I wanted a heavy concealer but then I remember that I like my under eye cakes up really 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 easily so I'm going for my Too Faced Born This Way concealer I've mentioned this a bunch of times and how much I love it it's really thin it has the um the coverage that I need but it's not that thick where like it'll cake up under my eyes. I'm going to blend it out with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. To brighten it up a little bit more, I'm going in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. And I'm just going to put that under where I feel like it needs to be brightened. Like my eyes kind of like go in right here. You guys can see it. Like right here how it goes in. So I like to type, kind of brighten it up with a concealer. And this honestly is my favorite concealer in the whole world. Like... Not even just for drugstore, like in general. This concealer is amazing. I'm using my Benefit Gimme Brow and my Benefit Brow Brow Zing. I always start off with the Gimme Brow because I like how it kind of fills in the brows first. And then you can just go over it with powder wherever it's sparse and it needs more filling. And plus, it smells like roses. If you guys didn't know, I honestly, like I love the smell of roses. My All my perfumes that I have and that I wear... They are, they need to be like rose scented. Next, I'm going in with my browsing. I'm not going to fill it in too much because my eyebrows get kind of crazy if I fill them in too much. So I'm going to try to keep it just filling in like the outer. I honestly suck at filling in my eyebrows. Like if there's anything that gets me really mad in like terms of makeup, it's doing my eyebrows because I suck so freaking bad at doing them. My eyebrows are so annoying. They piss me off, especially when they're not done. Like I can't do anything with them. I'm now going in with my Anastasia contour kit. Sorry for the change of clothes and like how it looks. This is actually the next day. I was recording yesterday and um, I got the face done, which you guys saw. And then I went to go record my eyes and it didn't record. And then when I went to put on my eyelashes, 
I put the eyelashes in my eye, so the glue got in my eye, and then I just had to wash everything off. So we're just continuing from yesterday. So we left off at the face, so I'm finished with my face. I didn't do much to it. Now I'm just going to move on to my eyes. And I'm sorry if I'm talking weird. I have um, TMJ, so my and I just woke up right now, so my jaw is very stiff and sore, and it just keeps locking. Um, so sorry if I'm like talking weird. I don't know if you guys even noticed that. So I'm going to be using the new Tarte palette. This is the High Performance Naturals palette. And it's literally all naturals. We're going to be using this and then maybe a few other eyeshadows. Just because this one doesn't have a black in it and I do want a black eyeshadow. Maybe. I don't know if I really want a black eyeshadow. I'm going to be going in with the color On The, Mo on the Monet. It's like a bronze shade. And I'm going to be applying this all over my eyelid. I'm not going to go too far up because we are going to blend this out into the crease as well. So now with a blending color, I'm just going to use a color called Different Strokes. It's kind of like a peachy color. And I'm going to mix it in with the color I put on my lids. And we're just going to blend this out. I'm not going for anything too crazy. I kind of just want like a subtle wash of color. And I want it to go from like heavy color to just, just fade it out. I don't want to do anything too cray cray. I always go back in with a clean brush just to like also just fade out the corners of the eyeshadow. I never want it to look too streaky, you know. So now I'm going to go back in with the original color and put it back on my eyelid because I feel like it got... Um, kind of faded out while I was blending so I'm just gonna pack this on then once again just kind of blend it the edges so I really do like the way that came out I didn't want to do anything too crazy but we're gonna define the outer corner a little bit I'm gonna go into a dark brown shade and this is called style and I'm just gonna take this and kind of darken up the outer V of my eye just a little bit um, that's why I'm not using a brown, I mean a black, and instead I'm using a brown because I don't want it to be too harsh. So I'm just going to like put this in the outer V. That looks a lot better. I'm now going to go in with a water, um, water. I'm going in with my Ico black kind of coal pencil, and I'm just going to put this on my tight line and also inside my water line as well. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just, I'm not going to put eyeliner on today, like uh, winged eyeliner. I'm going to take my water, pre um, why do I keep saying water pencil? I'm going to take my coal pencil and I'm going to line my lash line and then just smudge it out. I'm going to take a pencil brush and just kind of blend it out. Just to kind of give it like a smoky eye effect without it really being a full on smoky eye. So now we're going to take the same brown eyeshadow and then just uh, smoke out the under eye. Then I'm just going to brighten up the inner corners of my eye. And I'm going to just take a... This color is called Pop of Princess. And I'm just going to put this into my... Whatever, I forgot what this is called. Teardrop? What is it called? I don't know, but it's going there. That looks good. So I just put on my Huda Beauty uh, liquid lipstick in Muse. It's my favorite at the moment. I think you guys know that. I'm also going to put on some eyelashes. And, um, and then we're basically done. Lashes seriously make all the difference. Your eyeshadow skills could suck. And then you put on some serious dramatic lashes. And you're like, whoa. Professional makeup artist over here. Let me fix my hair, and then I know a lot of you guys love to see when I put my Dika and stuff on and how I put it on, so I will come back with those and show you guys how I put it on. Okay, so for the Dikas, you obviously always just need bobby pins and the Dika that you want to wear. You want to center it on your part, which is right here, and then you want to just place it and you just bobby pin it in place. So... You want to make sure it's a few bobby pins and they're like crisscrossing because you don't want this thing to fall off like while you're dancing or something. You know what I mean? Usually two for me is okay. If I'm actually going out, going out, I put on more than two. But like today, like two is good. Two is Gucci. It also helps if you tease the crown of your head a little bit so it can, um, like your bobby pins have something to like get secure into. 
Okay guys, so that's it for the tutorial. I hope you liked it. This set also does come with a tumor thing like this, where it's like kind of like for brides and you can put it on the sides. It's a huge set and I know a lot of people would think this is a lot, but you don't have to wear it all together. I just thought for the sake of the video, I would show you guys how it looked all together. It is um, not too heavy, like the earrings aren't too bad and they do have sahade so you can like take these little long things and pin it up, it'll help. And, um, yeah, also, I'm having a giveaway, if you guys don't know. Um, if you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, you would know. So I am giving away the Anastasia Ren Renaissance palette. My next few videos that I do, um, I will be having a giveaway in each one, whether it be a small thing or a big thing. I just have a lot of makeup that I need to sort out. So... What you need to do to find out how to enter is just go on to my Instagram and look at the post for the um, for the palette giveaway. And then you guys need to follow me on Snapchat because I will be announcing the, um, the winner on Snapchat. So I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you liked it. Take care. And also, Eid is on Monday. So Eid Mubarak to everybody. And I hope you guys enjoy yourself. Bye.